from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. Ah, uh, that was impressive in Sepulpa. If you haven't seen it again, we're running out of time. And of course, the weather is really, really good. We're kind of squeezed right now between a storm system to the south with rain, heavy rains. We get some flooding rains, a few severe storms out of this. If you have friends traveling tonight, make sure that they're aware of this. Up to the north, we did have some snow across portions of uh, Nebraska and then into Iowa. There's some travel advisories there, but we kind of squeezed in good weather. Sooner football team is enjoying fantastic weather down in Orlando in the upper 60s. We have fallen into the upper 50s, but we we were at 70 during the afternoon. There is a threat of those few severe storms though tonight across areas to the east. And then as we go through, uh, really through a Friday, Saturday and Sunday, kind of basically quiet weather. So it's a great way to end the old year, bring in and ring in the new year. We do have a storm system though coming in on the second day of the new year. So by Monday, showers and storms are gonna break out. It's gonna be a close call if we get severe weather. Uh, it's gonna be mainly for, uh, east of 75, probably more east of 69 and along the Arkansas, Oklahoma state line and then that'll move off to the east rapidly. But we're going to have to deal with some cold weather because it's January and we just started winter. So there's going to be a chances that we're going to be dealing with cold weather and maybe even a snow flurry or two by Wednesday night. But there isn't much going on. Just the idea, though, it's, you know, it's nice to see that when winter wasn't just two or three days worth of cold weather. And so we're going to have to deal with some of that. There's a little brief break where we could get up to 60 maybe by Friday and then fall back down by Saturday of the next week. Right now, focuses on Monday with our best chance of rain that will be ending fairly quick as we go on into the evening hours for Monday. Overall, the chances of rain and amounts of rain are going to be again further to the east, really into Arkansas. And then so it's Highway 75 to the east has the best chance of maybe an inch or so of rain. Now the west still needs rain. Here's the latest drought monitor to give you an idea. So really where we need the rain, we're not getting it. The drought is pretty much ending or ended across northwestern Arkansas and extreme east central Oklahoma. But, you know, you get east of Tulsa, it's like, it's not too bad. And then you get west of Tulsa, it's like, we still need water. I still have no water in my ponds. And we're talking about a wetter than normal weather pattern as we go into the middle of January. Toward about the 13th to 15th, there's a pretty significant cold shot coming back down. A little too early to get too carried away on it. In the meantime, it's still looking to be overall above normal. Now next week we dip a little bit, then we'll warm back up before that next cold wave. This was a shot out of uh, Bixby tonight and the sunset was absolutely gorgeous. We received some pictures, but it was on fire tonight. It was just about as beautiful as you could ask for. 57 degrees, west southwest wind at six miles per hour, 42% humidity. Temperature's still hanging around 60. We've dropped into the 50s on the north side. Light north winds are coming in. Notice how it's 40s out west, 50s, and then 60s. And that's that cooler air coming in tonight. And now continue to move on through. So we'll be in the 30s in the morning, maybe 29, 30 around Bartlesville. And by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon, we're in the 50s. And then there could be a few passing sprinkles in southeast Oklahoma Friday night into Saturday morning. Another chilly start on Saturday morning, and then we'll be looking for temperatures in the 60s on Saturday afternoon. So New Year's Eve looks fantastic as temperatures will be in the 50s for much of the evening and nobody will really complain. And then as we go on into Sunday morning, we'll be in the 40s. In the afternoon, we're in the 60s. And then that chance of a thunderstorm by Monday. Still, though, not too bad. 52 tonight, 38 in the morning. By the time we get at noontime, we're at 50. And overall, the forecast is looking for, again, the next four days to be mild with the best chance of rain on Monday. Here comes that cold weather then for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We'll have to deal with it. That is a look at your nine-day planner. We will be right back with sports.